Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have done a quick get ready with me. I'm actually going out shopping, but I did feel inspired to test out some of my new goodies, which were so kindly gifted to me by Emma and by all of the doll beauty gals at the Glam Squad Glasgow uh, event. So I got a gorgeous, just gorgeous goodie bag full of amazing products. So I am gonna talk through exactly um, you know, what I'm using, how I'm using it. There is a couple of products which I don't obviously use because they gifted me five of their new pigments. And the dark bronzer I didn't use today because I don't have a lot of tan on. Obviously I have tan on and to some people I probably have a lot of tan on, but for me it's not my darkest. So I'm gonna save that for when I'm, like I've got quite a lot of tan on. Today I use the medium deep and it's so gorgeous, so olivey. I use it for more of like a contour and use my lighter bronzer to blend in as well because as I said, I'm just not as dark as I would usually go. And it's a daytime daytime look but I'm going out to the shopping center and um, also I didn't go into massive detail about all of the other gorgeous pigments but I am 100% gonna use these in the next two weeks um, for another tutorial Um the two that I used in this eye look were like suited to this eye look and what I wanted to do but I am gonna incorporate the other pigments into a couple of eye looks coming up so I am so excited. This is not sponsored at all. They didn't ask me to do a video, but naturally when Doll Beauty gives you items, you're gonna wanna try them. You're gonna fall in love with them and you're gonna wanna share them with everybody. So that's what I have done in this video. But stay till the end because I do go through and step by step. So it is a little tutorial, but it is a little, it is a little, it is a little chit chat get ready with me. It's a little bit less of a formal kind of this is what you do and more of a chit chat. Also show you my favorite product. I think I've almost nearly ever come across, like no joke. So stay tuned to uh, have a little look at that. Oh, and I'm also using the James Charles Morphe palette, which I haven't featured on my YouTube yet at all. So if you do wanna have a little look at how I use that, then stay tuned. Please, please give this video a like, subscribe to me. It obviously really, really helps me to grow my channel and to know what you guys like. If you do like, if you do comment, if you let me know. Like, I feel like I've spoke to some people and they've said like, oh, I was scared to like write anything. Please just talk to me. Like, this is like a platform where I don't know many people, like not many of my friends are on YouTube. So if you have anything to say or anything to ask, please, please ask me. And also a massive shout out to Emma from Doll Beauty. Um, I'll leave her Instagram link below. She's absolutely amazing. She's just done her first YouTube video as well for Doll Beauty. So um, I will leave that link in the bio as well. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So first of all, I am going to take the James Charles palette. I'm gonna take the warmer tone. So I'm actually being more creative with the choice of pigments that I use. I was actually gonna go for like a blue under the eye, but I just wanted to try it out like this first and then I'll see about maybe doing a pop of blue when I'm feeling a little bit more creative and I'm not going shopping. Yeah, just prep my eye. I use some Barry M All Nighter Concealer and I'm actually going straight in. I'm not setting the base. I'm just gonna zoom you in. So you can see my eyeball. Okay, I'm first of all taking Punch Me, which is a really gorgeous, it's just an outer color here. It's a really gorgeous, like cool tone brown. And um, also if you notice my nails in this video, they're very bad. I need to um, get them done. I'm literally going to get them done after this. <laughs> I'm going to meet my friend for food. I'm also like winging out the shadow. So bringing it right out it elongates the eye I've got quite I do have almond shape eyes but they're quite small so they look a little bit round sometimes so just bringing that right out so next I am going in with 10% off use code James for 10% off Morphe I'm using an Inglot 6SS warm brown I'm going in with Boutique. No. No beans I'm going in with. No beans. Um, this is just slightly darker and I'm just bringing this to the inner corner and up into the crease but keeping it quite close to the crease because you still want to see like a nice sandwich. You want to see them layers. Oh my God. And that away, 
this. So these are the only three colours. Oh no, I, I lie, I used the black as well in the end. Um, but it's a very simple eye. I'm just bringing this along the lash line a little bit. Keeping it quite close to the crease, not bringing it up too far. Winging out. You do really want to lightly dust the shadow to make sure it is all blending out. I'm gonna go back in with Punch Me, my first colour. So now I'm taking some of Spooky, which is the black shade, and I've just pressed it on, and I'm just blending it out, and just up into the crease. So windy out. I've actually just been watching loads of Bella. Bella Thoro? Bella something. Anyways, she does conspiracies. Oh my god, so good. Okay, so I'm taking some of the pigment primer. Instead of actually cutting a crease today, I used this to cut my crease. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I didn't take a concealer. I didn't take a gel liner. I literally just took this and clamped it down where I wanted it. And then I just popped the glitter directly on top of that because as much as I wanted it to be a half cut crease, I didn't want it to be like really, really, really pigmented. I still wanted it to have a quite a smoky effect. Now I'm taking Lollipop. So gorgeous. You have to kind of work quick because you don't want, you don't want to have to keep reapplying glitter. You're just going to use the tiniest bit to blend it out into the shadow, then you're going to blend the shadow back in. Oh my god, I am obsessed. Okay, so then you want to do the inner corner. So for that, I'm going to use Pop and Candy. I'm just going to pick up a little bit more of the, the pigment primer and I'm just going to pop this on the inner corner. And then I'm gonna take a fluffier brush and that pigment to my inner corner. I find for inner corner, a uh, fluffy brush is better because it just can buff it in to kind of like, it can be quite intense inner corner but then you can buff it out into the shadow a little bit. Okay, now to blend the eyeshadow back into the pigment, I'm first of all going to take 48 SS but it's a well-loved one. And I'm just gonna bring 10% off and just buff that right back in where there's no harsh line. No beans. And I'm just gonna buff that in a little bit more so you've got your gradual from your black to your kind of brownie tone to your pigment. Now I am taking the Inglot Gel Liner 77, the black one. I'm taking that on my 12S brush, I'm sure it is. And I'm just going to And then I'm gonna take my, what is this called? 13P, some of the spooky shadow again, which is the black one. I'm just making sure that that is blended out. You don't wanna see any harsh lines, you just want it to be nice and smoky. The people I'm enjoying a lot on YouTube lately, um, Al Darby, I've been enjoying her since last year. She's amazing and I'm so excited. For her to you know well she's looking at getting a new house i'm excited for that i'm also excited for uh, autumn because she does up her house and you know what i'm gonna completely take inspo and when i'm doing my room up do it as like an autumn kind of transition so i'm gonna do like a couple of shops where i go and you know buy so for halloween then obviously coming into christmas i'm gonna decorate like christmas so i'll do like some vlogs Got a couple of little bits and bobs coming up. Yeah, so actually, just to mention, I was meant to be going to Ibiza at the end of this month. Now, nothing was booked, but all the time off and stuff was booked. We were meant to go. But, unfortunately, um, I kind of suffered with a little bit of, well, I do suffer with a little bit of anxiety. It's nothing major. It's just something that does affect me. And I just went through a bit of a phase of it just being, like, really bad. I was, like, 
I kind of stress a lot over health issues. It's just kind of silly because I stress about stuff that isn't there or hasn't happened or may never happen before, you know. So, and I can't help it, but I was. So I went through like a bit of a patch where I was just like stressed out over like stuff that hadn't happened um, and might never happen. So obviously it's black and white and it's like, it's so easy for someone to be like, don't stress, like it hasn't happened, but it's hard when you suffer. If you suffer with anxiety, you will know that it is hard to kind of get that out of your head, if you get me. While my lashes are drying, I'm using the style Anastasia. While they're drying, I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly do my undry. Actually, pop in a little bit of ring light. Oh my brow bone. I keep forgetting to highlight my brow bone. When I worked at MAC, it was my favorite thing to do, highlight brow bones, and now it's like the thing I genuinely forget to do most. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do the under eye, just go in with my darkest shade that I was using, not black, no beans. And go right under the waterline. Also for this, I'm using a two, 211 from MAC. It's a really good little brush for getting right in and doing some kind of detailed blending. So on more of like a smaller surface area. And I'm gonna take, what's this called then? 10% off. And I'm going back in with, this is just a concealer brush that I use to pop a bit of concealer on underneath. Well, it's actually my foundation brush at the minute because I've lost my foundation brush. Misplaced. Then I'm going back in with my first colour, which was T. No. Punch me. <laughs> yeah, so back to the anxiety situation. I was meant to be going to Ibiza and then I decided, you know what? I need to go home for a week, spend it with my family, come back feeling refreshed. And yeah. So that's what I did, I booked flights for a week at home. And my friend's gonna come and visit for basically a week, Charlie. I'm just going in with um, Spooky, which is the black. The line, Anastasia, the lashes. It is hard because I have got some Vegas volume lashes. Shout out to Gabby, they're amazing. But apart from that, they're really easy to go on because they're the lashes themselves have like kind of like a curved band, so they are a lot easier to apply. Okay, I'm going to use a mixture as per usual, 77 and 83. But yeah, so what I was saying was, mom is really, really excited, so she's like already looked into like an itinerary, but we basically own a mobile home and it's down the country. Don't forget your ears, bitch. It's down the country beside the seaside. And like all my family have mobile homes down there. So we're going down for like Wednesday till Friday. There'll be just my nanny and my granddad and like whoever else. But then the weekend, like my cousins come down. I'm using Revolution Full Coverage Camouflage Concealer. Yeah, so basically it's down beside the sea. All the family have also got mobile homes down there. And we have like barbecues, it's like probably, there's sometimes there's be 20 of us. We have like barbecues, we all like sit around the fire outside and like chat and have like, it's just so nice. I'm so excited for my friend to come. Uh, it's Charlie, I know I keep saying my friend, but like just in case nobody knows who she is, like her name's Charlie. I went to uh, Tenerife with her, vlogged it and didn't put it up. Shock. So I'm like really hunched because the chair that I have I broke, when, well I think it was broken when I bought it, but it's one of them that you have to assemble yourself, which didn't go down very well. Even though when I assemble IKEA furniture, it's always amazing. Quite a handy man, but when I did this chair, it just did not work at all. It's meant to have this like air pressure and that's how it goes up and down. You know one of the normal chairs that you have the little thing that you push down or bring up and you're moving it? Um, well, it had that, but then the pressure thing didn't work. So I don't know if that was my fault, but I went into um, Argos and I was like, oh, like it doesn't work. And they're like, well, you're gonna have to bring it in. And I was like, bringing a fucking like high stool. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm not bringing that in. Like at the time I didn't drive and then like trying to get it from the car, it just wasn't happening. I was like, I'll just deal with it. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna take my um, three, three P, uh, my 403 uh, HD powder, which is really brightening. I love it. And that's just to set the under eye. It gives it more like 
of an illuminating kind of a look. Now I'm going to take the 15 um, loose powder from Inglot. Just dust that all over. So I'm just dusting a little bit of bronzer everywhere. So in the areas that I'm going to kind of contour. Contouring that devil chin. So I'm going to take a little smaller brush. This is my 15 BJF from Inglot. So I'm just using the Doll Beauty Medium Deep to contour. This is like more, most probably a bronzer. But I'm just using it to contour because... When I try out new bronzers, I like to use like a little bit of a light one that I know um, kind of suits my skin tone and then bronze it up a little bit more. But that is gorgeous. It's like a really olive -y toned bronzer. It's this one here. Doll Beauty Gimme Sun. It looks like this. The packaging is so gorgeous. And also, yeah, I need to mention that the packaging on the pigments are amazing as well. Like, this is the box that it comes in. It's so cute. It's got, like, little pink hearts all over it. And the actual packaging of the, the pigments is amazing as well. Okay, so I just went ahead and popped a little bit of mascara on my bottom lashes. And so I'm going to use Coco by NYX. One of their lip liners. Okay, so this is without a doubt my favourite product that Doll Beauty has ever brought out. And that's ridiculous because obviously their lashes are so incredible, their highlights are amazing, and obviously now like their pigments are gorgeous, so it is hard to choose, but this is just me in a lipstick, like I can't deal. So it's called FOMO. When I first tried it, it was actually after Glam Squad in Glasgow, which is where I went, where Doll Beauty actually gifted me all these products and obviously massive shout out to Emma. And Sophie, who, who I went with, she's got really, really light skin tone. And she tried on this, lips, uh, this lipstick and she was like, it's gonna be too peach, it's gonna be too peach. And she fell in love with it. And she only, like, from the, the, in the time I've known her, I swear to you, she has only worn one lipstick that she's liked. And it's not even a lipstick, it's like a lip crayon that we do in Inglot. But she's obsessed with this. But I'll just show you. So I love anything that's a really cool tone, chalky kind of a nude that you can wear with, like, a really dark liner. Favourite. Ever. Ever. I'm just shook. I'm just absolutely in love with it. Like, I can't. How nice is it? Obviously, I know I have no highlighter on. I'm putting that on last, but I just wanted to show you this lipstick. <gasps> love it so much. I'm not joking. This, this is the nicest lipstick I've ever worn. Hands down. Obsessed. Yeah, so highly recommend that lipstick. My favourite of all time. And finally... Dun, 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 dun. The Hall of Fame Highlight Palette. I'm literally so excited to try this. I've had like a diamond before and I really, really, really like it. I don't know what to wear tonight. Mm. This is like a diamond. Ooh. I always go the, I don't, like no shade, but I just don't get when people don't put it down the full, like the whole way down their nose, like why they just do a bit and then a tip. Like if you do it the whole way down, I just feel like it completely um, slims down your nose. And then I'm gonna pop a little bit on the end. Bit on a cool draw. Ooh, and the pink. Put a little bit of the pink just here. Just here on kind of going into my blush. By the way, the blush I use is 29 Inglot blusher. Yeah, unreal, love it. And that is the final look. 